Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to Wasteland 2. I know it's been a little while and my apologies, but I haven't had any time to sit down with Wasteland 2, but on the positive side, whoa, don't want to be doing that. On the positive side, I've been thinking about it a lot, which is really cool. Um, okay, so we talked to Fletcher, right, and he wanted us to go and talk to Mr. Manners, who I believe is in here. So we're going to go and do that for him. And then we'll see where that takes us. Mr. Manners, the Rangers are back. I saw them speaking with the Philistine Fletcher. I'll offer him no more chances. He'll be executed forthwith. Politely show the Rangers the exit. I must end the execution. Are you serious? This is growing tiresome and rude. Please need... Okay. Okay, okay. They aren't joking. Yeah, I'm out. Cool. That doesn't work. Okay, great start. This is going well. Yeah, I just came to look at the prisoners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe we've missed something. Let's head back up. Actually, you know what? Let's head over here. I think we've talked to everybody. Oh, Paladino. Do we not have something of a Paladino's? Lindy's Tools, Paladino's Watch. That's what I'm talking about. I remember Mr. Manor's dad. Boy, howdy, did he get rude when he died. Too bitter for the stew pot, he said. Hey, kid, do me a favor, will ya? Okay, well, first of all, here's your watch. It's great. Was it Gitlin who did it? Mmm... No, it was a man named Runyon. Huh, well, I'm glad I got it back. You wouldn't believe where my grandfather kept this watch during the war. Here, have a few scrap for your trouble. That's cool. One of the things that's, um... That was pointed out was that there's actually a lot of other stuff going on in the tunnels that I didn't explore. And uh, I will head back there uh, soon to check out the rest of that. Uh, what do you know about this Mr. Manners? He's a real spitfire, that child. He used to rail against this old man. He used to steal and cheat and cuss. Then he went out into the wasteland, discovered what life is like beyond these walls, and that settled him down real quick. What about cat litter, Paladino? What, for radiation? Well, nobody around here uses it for that, but I know Mr. Manners has some for his cats. You might ask him, though, he'll probably say no. Politely, of course. What kind of favor do you need? Listen, I used to be a civility enforcer back in the day, and I remember an old dentist's office out west. They had all kinds of supplies, including denture paste. <laughs> well, I need some of that gunk to glue my teeth in so I can eat. You get it for me, I'll give you some sweet gear. Yep, okay. You'll go far with an attitude like that. I like you. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Okay, it's not too far. It's glue for the fake chompers. I really need it. I won't be able to eat solid food. Interesting. Okay, what about... Arthi Ravendraneth? Nothing. Okay, didn't want to talk to you anyways. Alright, let's head back up. And I guess we can go and check out the, um... I think it's over here. Whoa. Oops. Yeah, Roger go ahead. Echo one. Got a distress call from a house of pleasure near your location. Owner says God's militia have killed several women and are cleansing sinners as they come in the door. <laughs> okay, God's now. militia. Firm. Okay, it's right next to the dentist. It's not a bad trip if we Set do make four. it. And uh, your call on this one, Echo One. But personally, I'm siding with the lady. Okay. Interesting. So we'll go back into the vent, figure out what we miss there, or not. Hold it right there, gentle rangers, please, or else my men will politely detain you by force. Our prisoner, Erwin Fletcher, escaped from his cell in the commons. Our Fletcher, the guy we just talked to? Kind of funny that you'd show up and he'd disappear. Suspicious, even. So here's the deal. You will kindly pick one of your merry little band to be our hostage, and then you will go find Fletcher, please. What? If you find Fletcher, bring him home alive. You can have your friend back. If you kill him or fail to bring him back, well... We promise an execution, and it's just as easy to use a stranger implicated in the escape of the accused. Might even be a better example, you follow? Okay, why us, though? I report some very reliable manner as that you were conversing with the fugitive. Well, didn't they tell you that he was there when we left? Like... I'll stay as hostage. So, I'll, 
Uh, okay. So I guess maybe whoever we pick stays. Lex is probably a good one to keep behind. Let's ask about the other stuff. What do we get if we find him? We could probably work out a deal with you. How about we give you access to the radio if you impress us with your work on this? Yeah, that works. Thanks to our scavenging team, we put together the parts to make one of the most powerful radios in all of California. If you truly are the lawbringers you claim to be, then it would behoove you to get your message out to a wider audience. Okay. Any clues? At the risk of doing your job for you, you could check out the area around the cage for any leads. Okay, Lex. My men will escort you to your cell and your belongings will be placed in our armory for safekeeping. If your team wishes to speak with Mr. Manners, then go ahead. I will place them on the visitor list. Okay. So now we could go talk to Manners. Let's go check out these clues. Well, he's right here. Attention, gentle citizens. It has been brought okay, to my what? attention that Fletcher had the audacity to escape. Please keep your eyes peeled and report any suspicious activity to your nearest civility enforcer. Until this manner is resolved, the execution will be placed on hold. Seeing as our guests, the Desert Rangers, are lawmen, they will be assisting in the investigation. One of the Desert Rangers has even graciously volunteered to take Fletcher's place until Fletcher is found and returned alive. I'm sure this will provide proper motivation for them to return our friend Fletcher in a timely manner. Good day. Yeah. I'm very confused, because who the hell is this then? Okay, a tall steel cage surrounded by wooden picket fence stands here. Two gas-powered tractors are at each corner with a large chainsaw attached to each. The saws feed through the openings between the bars of the cage. The cell is clean, but the tarnish of old blood cannot be washed entirely away. The cage holds your companion. Oh, that's Lex. Oh, okay, okay. The guard stands here, eyes you warily. There's fresh blood at the edge of the days. Not much, more like a nosebleed than a gunshot. The guard's aquiline features are plastered with a seemingly permanent case cast of chagrin. To be fair, he may never live down Fletcher's escape. Hello, Ranger. Sheriff Marshall told me you'd be looking into Fletcher's escape. I suppose you want to know how he got out right under my nose. Yeah, that would be good. What do we need? Hard-ass level 10? Oh, are you kidding? We don't have it? We have hard-ass 9! Son of a biatch. That's terrible. All I remember is shadow, then a sharp pain in the back of my head. When I woke up, I think I saw a faint trail leading away from the cage. If you can find it, maybe you can follow it? A faint trail. What? Okay, do we have a trinket... ...for hard-ass? Even if we do, it's probably... ...too late. Oh, what is this? Oh, right here. Okay. Let's just follow the trail. A pair of relatively fresh tracks leading towards the farm. A pair of footsteps on either side of the tracks. Like someone was being dragged away against his will. So somebody took him, then. Or he took somebody with him. Right into these vents. Interesting. Huh, whoever did this didn't want anyone or anything coming through. The mixture feels wet, as it was done recently. Can we break this? No. What the hell? Well, maybe we want to head back down into the vents, but I wonder if we could try blowing this thing up. Couple pipe bombs there.
Let's see. Doesn't look like it would do anything. But they're just dead here. Did you see anybody, Lindy? Footprints. Yeah, of course you don't. Why would you? Ah, uh, damn it. So it's recent, but what is there anything we could do about it? I don't think that's going to do anything. But perhaps if we go in through the vents. I don't think any of our skills are going to work on this. Very, very, very weird. Found some tracks that lead to the farms. Okay, let's let's question some people here if we can. She doesn't know anything. Any chance you found some gloves? Well, no. Okay. Hmm. Who's this guy? Rural girl, take the boots, pull out the man. Yeah, pull him out. Slargo. So, wow, I thought it was done for. I'll tell my friends about your polite rescue. Oh, and here are my boots. I'm going to retire. <laughs> okay, what? What do I want your boots for? What the hell? So weird. Climbing boots. Heavy duty mountain climbing boots with crampons attached. These might be useful if there was more than one place in the whole world where you need to climb something. And you haven't been there in 25 years. Okay. I don't even know. I mean, it's quite clear where they've gone. Okay. Oh, here we go. Your husband escaped the cage. Do you know anything about it? My husband fled? I'm shocked. I didn't think he had it in him. You don't sound as shocked as you should. I think you know something. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, all right. I just couldn't stand by and let him die. I got his friends to drag him away since I knew the poor fool wouldn't leave on his own. Who are these friends? No way, I'm not telling. I'm not getting into trouble. Where'd they take him? You think I'm gonna tell you that? Sorry, he's safe now, and I'll be joining him soon. And we'll be away from all this horrible Manorite Robinson bullshit and just be normal people. <laughs> Look, you think that's horrible? What we'll do to you will be horrible if you don't tell us where he is. Do what you want. I'm not giving up my husband, no matter who wants to use him. Manners, Tori, they can go fuck themselves. What did Tori Robinson want? It's too embarrassing, too shameful. There's no shame if you're forced to do it. Tell us. Tori asked me to seduce Mr. Manners. She saw how he always looked at me and told me she wanted to get close to him and learn his secrets. She was looking for blackmail material so she could bring him and the Manorites down and raise up the Robinsons in their place. Okay. I didn't want to do it. I love my husband, but Tori told me I wouldn't be a true Robinson if I didn't. She said she'd throw us out, so I agreed. Please don't tell Fet Fletcher about the affair. Okay, well, why is he involved, though? That's the bad part. My seduction worked too well. Manners fell in love with me. He wanted me for himself and decided Fletcher had to die. Okay. That's why Fletcher was arrested. The roaches, the execution, it's all Manners scheme to get him out of the way. I begged Tori to help Fletcher and get away from here, but she wouldn't. She wanted Fletcher to die, too. Does Fletcher know at all that you had this affair? 
It wasn't an affair. I was forced into it. Tori would have killed me if I hadn't seduced him. And Manners would have killed me if I tried to leave. Please don't tell Fletcher. Why did, did Tori want Fletcher to die? She said it was perfect, better than blackmail. If Fletcher died, then I revealed, instead of being executed or for attracting roaches, he was killed to get him out of the way so Manners could marry me. Then the Mannerites and the Robinsons would revolt against Mr. Manners for his rudeness and hypocrisy, and Tori could take over. What the hell did any of that matter if Fletcher was going to die? <laughs> I didn't have anything... I didn't want anything to do, it, but, do with it, but the heartless bitch said she'd have her thugs kill me if I said anything. There was no one I could turn to. Why does she want to revolt so bad? She says there's no equality here, no justice. The law is only whatever Mr. Manor says it is, and she thinks he's crazy. Tori says she wants to make this an open and free society with herself in control, of course. Can you tell me more about your husband? He's a sweetheart, a gentle soul, that's why I married him. Is it common for a Mannerite to marry a Robinson? No, it's not, but Fletcher especially. He's a sweet, lovable dolt. <laughs> what do you know about the Robinsons in general? I was born and raised a Robinson, taught me to respect power, but when we were moved here, I married Fletcher, a Mannerite, and learned how thrilling politeness can be. Cat litter? Yeah, Manners. Okay. So what did Mr. Manners want? Simple, he's in love with me. He wanted Fletcher dead so he could marry me. Okay. Tell us more about Tori. She's our leader, so she has more than a... More... <clears throat> she has to be more like a Robinson than all the other Robinsons. I'm a Robinson. I'm all for taking control of my life, but Tori wants control of her life at the expense of everyone else's. It's not enough for her to win. She has to make everybody... Make sure everybody else loses. It's an obsession. And what about Mr. Manners? Can't stand him. He's just like Tori. All he cares about is power and enforcing his rules on everyone. Okay. Well... That got interesting. I think it might be time to talk to Tori. Fletcher's execution was just a big setup by Tori Robinson. Tori plans to reveal Elizabeth's affair with Mr. Manners after Fletcher's executed. So we could go to uh, Mr. Manners. We could go to Tori, I believe. Roger, did you see anything? Not that we really need much. You see anybody come through here? Some civilian forces came through not long ago. They were carrying someone. Okay. Pretty sure they were headed towards ventilation panels. It was weird because I could have sworn it was Nick Chauvin and Gene Kronk, but it couldn't have been. I must have been breathing too many syrup fumes. Robinsons don't go on sea patrols. Okay. Robinsons are definitely not a friendly bunch. Always talking about maximizing this and seizing that. Sounds like gibberish. What do you know about Gene Kronk? He hangs out near the water tower. He says he's in charge of keeping the pumps running, but seriously? I never see the guy lift a finger. And his hands are always clean. Is it rude to talk about someone behind his back? And Chauvin? It's one of the quiet Robinsons, not one of those pushy in your face loudmouth assholes. Oh, I apologize. That was rude. He works in the cafeteria, and that's why it's weird to see him in CE clothes. Okay, so water tower and cafeteria. I think we should pay these guys a visit. We should question them. Yep. Okay, let's move. Here's Kronk. What do you want? What about cat litter, first of all? <laughs> what can you tell us about Fletcher, Kronk? He's gone. What about it? All I know is a dipshoot who got smart and escaped some stupid-ass rules. We know he's gone, but we heard you took him out. Me? Sorry, man. I'm too lazy. That's what the Mannerites all say anyways. Tori's always telling me to seize my power, but I'm doing some powerful relaxing. <laughs> okay. Look, Roger Yee saw you and Nick Chauvin down on the farm carrying somebody. That doesn't seem too lazy. Ah, oh, fuck. I told Elizaveta this wasn't a watertight plan. Alright, look. Here's a spot on the map where we took Fletcher. Okay, Fletcher's hideout. That's pretty obvious. Please don't tell Tori I had anything to do with this. If she finds out, I'm dead. Why would Tori care? Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. That's her business. You want to know, you ask her. You can find her at the cafeteria. Just don't tell her I sent you, alright? Why would you help Elizaveta? She's my cousin, and blood is thicker than maximum power. What do you think of the Mannerites? So uptight, these guys. They really need to bust loose, maybe get a little rowdy now and again. What do you mean, rowdy? 
They just got their sticks up their asses all the time. It's pick up your bunk this and clean behind your ears that. Can't figure out why Fletcher would be happy to die for such idiotic rules. How do you know he was willing to be executed? Well, I mean, I guess, um, I did talk to him a little bit. You know, we were basically friends and shit before he got taken. Why did Elizabeth want him taken? I already told you I don't know. I don't even think she loved that guy anymore. What? Okay, let's see if she knows anything about this. Got a bit of a mystery on our hands. That's why I married him. Interesting. Okay. So Tori is up in the cafeteria as well as uh, Chauvin, I believe. So let's head up and talk to these guys. There's Tori. I wouldn't mind find- there's Chauvin. Are you talking to me for a reason? Yeah, a little bit. No idea what you're talking about. What do you know about Fletcher? Tori will kill me if I tell you. Go ask Gene Cronk at the water tower. I gotta get back to work or I'm dead. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know if we should just go find him. And bring him back. Or if we should talk to Tori. Oh, that's a really tough call. We can just talk to her. It's not like we'd have to say anything. Time is important. Do you know Elisaveta? Why? What does she say to you? She exaggerates a lot of things, you know. Why are you nervous? I have a plan, all right. Mr. Manderson doesn't run this place properly. He needs to exercise his power. Interesting. What do you know about him? Manners will go down once the people see what sort of creature he truly is. If the Colosseum's populace does not join against him, then these people might not deserve to live. Okay. And how will you exercise your power? Mr. Manners is ruthless and hard, but he does not have a true grasp on the situation here. He thinks the execution will bring his people together. Instead, it will rally them to me. Who knows power like the Robinsons? No one. We are bred to power, and we will exercise it. Once Manners divides the Coliseum with his execution of an innocent man, we will reunite it under our banner. Okay. Our forefather wrote a book called Maximum Power. It tells us that we chart... Uh, we've heard about this previously. It tells us that we chart our own destiny, that we are responsible for our actions, that we don't react, we act. There is nothing in our lives that we cannot control if we just remember that. What is Maximum Power about? Recovered from a bookstore in Las Feliz. We are the descendants of the same group that spawned the Manorites. That's how we knew we'd be safe. That we'd have a safe haven there. Our prophet told us that everything we desire is already inside us. We just need to take it. Okay. I don't want to go all accusatory. I'm going to ask. Is she having an affair with Mr. Manners? Fletcher was a disgusting little patsy with no ambition. Did you hear about his roaches? Of course he didn't deserve Elisaveta. She gambled her power on, unsettling, on unseating Mr. Manners. The poor man, he's never been loved by the upper class because of his lack of breeding. And now they chose to use him as an example to sate their bloodlust? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> apologies for the language. Okay, Tori, did you have him kidnapped? They told you to talk to me? That's nuts. Seriously, though, did you? Fine, I just wanted you to leave me alone. But it looks like you're a smart, well-versed dealer in human nature. So I regret that decision. <laughs> you've been... You've seen how false and sweet and sugar-sweet all these people are to each other? Here's to honesty. When tell us the truth. Yes, it's true. I should have had Fletcher's abductors stay out instead of making two teams. Hmm. But here's the thing. I want to depose the current regime of personal abnegation, abnegation and denial and put a system of personal power in its place. Now, I'm going to trust to your discretion as a self-actualized individual to keep the nature of this particular strategy to yourself. And I hardly need mention that if you fail in this duty, it will simply be the word of a vagabond against that of a respected member of the community. So you want our discretion? I think we can work a deal. You want to use the radio, I hear. I want the Colosseum. And no, I won't call it the Angel. <laughs> 
What a stupid name. You help me take the Coliseum from Mr. Magnus, and I'll make sure you get what you need. Okay. What do you know about Angel Oracle? I'll admit it's a nice little setup we've got going on here. And this place, all this place needs is proper leadership to help maximize its potential. And how will you take it? Just stay out of my way. By the time the execution happens, things should be cooking along nicely. If they don't, come back and we'll talk. God. The execution can't even happen if he's not here. But the other guy wants him executed as well. Very, this is very messed up, this situation. Very messed up. Look at this. I wonder... Okay, hold on. I just saw these coolant pipes here. We've got a lock and an alarm. Impossible. I can't remember what Lex's is. But these coolant pipes, I'm wondering... Hmm. Because we still actually need to find a way to repair the tower in the other place. I can't talk to Mr. Manners about the trade routes because... Well, I could go talk to him now. I haven't done that. Um, and then we also need to go and maybe save the guy. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, though, I'll go talk to Mr. Manners. I'll see how that goes. Maybe we go out and save Fletcher. While we're out there, we could grab the denture stuff. Um... Yeah, we could go to the brothel where we had the call, and then come back. Mind you, it is this way, not really, it's not really up with those. But we'll see. Maybe we do all of those things. Uh, we go to the dentist, brothel, and then the hideout, and then back. But it kind of depends on what Mr. Manners says, so... Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Fletcher seems to be an unknowing pawn here that everyone just wants to dick with to get what they want. I feel bad for the guy. So, uh, hopefully we save him and everyone else gets screwed. We'll see how that goes. See you next time, guys. Bye.